Welcome to CD here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we are reviewing Queen and Slim. Directed by Melina Mitsukis, starring Daniel Kaluuya and Jody Turner Smith. Queen and Slim. Oh my God, it's finally here. I've been excited for this movie for a long time. Why? Because I love great quality black films. And I could tell from the trailer, it was gonna be one of those. It's like, oh my God, they talking about police brutality, which is always a, a, a good topic to bring up on the big screen, right? Get everybody in that emotional stage of either angry or just misunderstanding, whatever it is that you're feeling. You're feeling something automatically when you're watching a movie. We got Daniel Kaluuya, and for those of you that don't recognize the name, this is the Get Out star, right? He's been in other movies since then, like Black Panther. But that is where you know him from, uh, amazing movie. We did a review on that as well. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. But we know this guy can act, and so pairing him with anybody, and we get, I would say, a beautiful you know, black woman on the side, Jodie Turner-Smith, who I was like, okay, let's see what she got. Let's see where those acting chops can go. And it turns out that the pairing of those two gives you a powerful, powerful film. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to agree. Yeah. And uh, the best thing that this movie has going for it uh, is the writing, actually. I think that, mm. I think that Lena Waithe, uh, she did her thing in this movie. She For me, she did her thing in this movie. And... She also has been written writing on the shot. She writes the shot. So she to me, she already has two things that I enjoy. Um, and Ready Player One. Oh no, she was in Ready Player One. I know, but she, she was in it. She she made that easy too. Yeah, she was in it. She was in it. She was in it. I enjoyed her. I enjoy her and I want to see her do more. And this was a great, great, great step in the right direction. Cause we need more black directors that are amazing. And she is trending in that direction. I cannot call her amazing yet, because you don't have enough. But she's trending in that direction. I don't know. After this, you know, you come off with the... Uh, and, and everybody's been saying that, right? The black Bonnie and Clyde, right? Yeah. So it's a man and a woman. They get into an altercation with a cop. Cops dead. Boom. What's next? They're yeah. on the run, right? Also, you can say the couple, Thelma and Louise, depending on how you view Thelma and Louise as a, as a couple. Uh, and for me, one, that's... It's been a while since I've seen a movie set up this way. You know, it's kind of standard, right? The Bonnie and Clyde thing is, isn't... Uh, too new, but in terms of having a black couple kind of do this, I can't think of one. I can't. I can't think of a black couple. Usually, it's like a group. You know, the the last movie I can think of was Widows, right? Where it wasn't all black. Uh, and then before then, maybe I'm going back even later. Uh, to like a, a gang or a heist movie. But again, right? It's not about the gang That's or a heist. Love. It isn't the stereotypical in the sense of black people, you know, robbing and looting. This is like serious themes here, right? It's, it almost takes me to a place where. You watch the news, you see a killing, you know, a cop killing somebody, and it's like, dang, what would I do in that situation, right? You know, if I was a Tamir Rice, you know, like, how, like, how would I have handled that? Or uh, Mike Brown. It's like so many different ways, you know, a, a scenario like that could play out, and then seeing it on the big screen, getting a chance to watch this film, it's, it's, it's really powerful stuff. I agree. The film I thought of was uh, Mr. and Mr. Smith. A movie where they was going against the grain, but uh, it, don't, it don't it don't feel like that. But I, no, no, the movie don't feel like from that. a couple aspects. I got yeah, you. the I movie got don't feel like that. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm um, with you. Let's let's get into the, the to the meat of the topic. Let's get into the meat before I continue to talk about this movie. Uh, the theme of uh, police uh, violence is a thing. It exists in this country. Uh, it's been going on. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It, it's going on. It's, it's going to continue to go on until we do something to change it. And I like that this movie didn't make it so obvious that they were innocent or guilty, right? Like, of course, when you see this movie, I can see somebody saying they were wrong because they should have just listened to the cop. Maybe he wouldn't have shot him, right? They left that open in the movie. That's the beginning of the movie. No spoiler on that. They kind of left that open in the movie because that, that's not what the movie is really hinged on because I think, to me, and Lena Wade kind of talked about this in an interview on The Breakfast Club. Yes, this is a Bonnie and Clyde film. She can't get away from that. You know, she tried to say it's not. But I think that this movie, to me, shows the dynamic of a black relationship. Oh my God, why didn't you just say it? What? It's a love story. Yes. It, it, it's, it's a love story. Like you always, you gotta, you had to the black dynamic. It's a love story. It's a love story. It don't matter if it's white on white, brown on brown, black and brown, white and white, you know. I, it, I agree with you. It's a love story. It is a love story. story. But it's a little deeper than that. And the reason why I say of, that. Of course it's deeper than that. The only reason why I say that is because of 
the parallels of, because you know, every relationship is different, right? But I, to me, because I'm black, I can only speak for, you know, being black, you know, black love in that essence, I got that on the screen. Yeah. I got that on the screen. Yeah, it's, a, it's like if Love Jones ever went sideways. Like if their relationship became something crazy, and not in terms of like between them, just like the outside world on their relationship, right? Like this is that film. It's that level of like dang i want a woman like this or a man like this and i want to be in that situation without <laughs> you know the fact that we are on the run uh man it was a really good movie i'm just gonna keep it it was i got more i got more like this movie gave me so much to talk about and i'm here and i'm here for y'all uh let's go back to other black movies right because we had a lot of other black movies this year that some great some not so great let me talk about a not so great one and the parallels to this movie that movie harry tunnel the movie Harriet. I, 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 I'll try to forget about the movie. Yeah, go ahead. The movie Harriet, right? The biggest, my biggest complaint about that movie, you can also see the review if you haven't checked it out, uh, was that it didn't have any suspense in it. And this movie, Queen and Slim, has so much suspense. Whether they get caught or not, you have to see this in the movie. It had the suspense. The suspense was there. It was there. It was present at every moment. Every turn, every decision they made, the suspense was on the line. Their lives you know why, were on right? the line every time. You know why? I'm listening. Because you cared about the characters. Absolutely. And that's what Harriet, and I don't want to dig on this movie. We already reviewed it. But that's where, that's where it lacked. It's like, yeah, I know Harriet Tubman. Is Harriet Tubman an OG? Absolutely. Am I in love with Harriet Tubman? No. That movie gave me a chance to be in love with Harriet, to understand Harriet, her flaws, her her amazingness, everything about her, and it did. It left you a flat version of Harriet that, like I said in the review, you can pull right off of Wikipedia. That's not helping me. Queen of Slim, it's like I grew up with Slim. It's like I've been knowing him my whole life. I see him in the faces of some of my friends, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and then Queen, oh my God, like. Amazing. Just. Powerful. just a prime example of a black woman. You know, she was an attorney before all of this even went down. Oh my God. And that she came on. I'm like, dang, she coming. She coming in with that level yeah. of of amazingness to this film, and then just to see how they grow and morph together. Oh my God. Yeah. And that just go back to what I started off with oh, the writing. Yeah. The writing, the writing was, is amazing. The writing was good. It was I, good. I don't. I don't think it's my number one though. The dialogue was amazing. Absolutely amazing. The acting is all. Oh my God. Like you, like you would think they they known each other their whole life, right? Yeah, the acting, acting, acting time not just probably my number two. Oh my gosh! So what's your number one? It's actually the soundtrack. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, 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 I, I'm I'm very big on vibes, right? I'm very big on how music plays into each scene, every conversation, every mood, every transition in the movie, uh, and the soundtrack was laced. Like it, like is this a soundtrack? That's as good as like a Superfly, like we're in that old school Superfly, Curtis Mayfield, like where it's like, oh my God, I can go back and eat this soundtrack up over and over. Probably not. But in terms of the movie, every song was delicately picked, mm -hmm. played. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the, the songs helped you rise. You know, you felt good in the moment. Song mm -hmm. was playing. And then some songs came in low. Mm -hmm. Some songs were sultry. And you just felt like a heat from yep. a few songs. I'm like, oh my yep. God, it's so intense. I'm like there with them in the moment. I thought that like stole the show. On top of the acting and the, and the writing and the cinematography. And the director. Because they had some great shots. Like, even in the end, I was telling you, like, oh, my God, like, that whole frame, like, there are stills from this movie that I want to have as wallpaper. It's crazy. I really, I really, <laughs> it's crazy. I agree. And I'm not, I'm not even that kind of guy, but, like, the imagery in the film was just so beautiful, so artsy. Uh, it, this was, this is a classic black film. Like, oh, my God, like, yeah. easily, like, The Wood, for me, is probably one of my favorite black films Absolutely. of all time. Yeah. Uh, this is really, this is, like, right there with that. It is. I, I, I like this movie as much. It as is. is. It is. I like the movie as much as you do. I think it is. I think it is. If you and if if your if your uh, top five black movies would include like a Love Jones or a Jason's lyric, I think Queen and Slim gotta go right there with them. I think it's better than both of those movies. I see. So you are there with me. You are there with me. I think it's better than both of those. <laughs> That's crazy. But for different reasons. For different reasons. I think that this movie does something that those movies uh, didn't. It teaches you something. <laughs> all, those, all the movies teach you something. It teach you a little bit more. It do, but I was about to say it didn't have that the suspense. It didn't have that on the run. Anything can happen at any time. Yeah. Our love is a different may level. only be here for this amount of it's time. A different level of energy. Or I might go forever. Like yeah. it, 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 you know, those, those movies lack that. I think a movie more like a love and basketball has some of that energy because of the yeah, dynamics yeah. of their relationship. Yeah, but not as much as it. But of course not yeah. as much as it. I was just kind of giving I, more black. I got a poetic justice. 
Yeah, like the dynamic of the relationship was just different. This movie was great. Uh, this movie was great. They didn't pander to black people. They knew black people, and that's what happened when you have a black that director. Cool. And that's what, that's when you that's what happened when you have a black director and a black writer that actually knows. The community they know the culture uh this movie was a prime example of two people uh two women uh that good job great job y'all did an amazing job that know the culture uh and this movie is i want to say everything that y'all wanted this movie was amazing and I, and I i can't say that enough in this review i absolutely love this movie uh then this and this year especially the back half of the year has been incredible this is Two, three months. A lot of good movies on, in the last few months. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, oh, man. I got to give this movie a 9.3. And the reason I'm giving it a 9.3, and I'm kind of just running, I'm just going with it, I'm sticking with it, is because there were some things in this film, some judgment calls, some choices made that I don't think were, and I don't want to say real, they just weren't logical, you know? There were a few times where I, I, saw, I saw the main characters make a move, and I said, why? You know, it's a, like, I, I want y'all to talk a bit more, think through it. Uh, I haven't been in that situation, so I can't say I would act the same. But some things, I was like, that's just weird, you know. Uh, but, hey, you know, that's nitpicky stuff. It also felt a bit long, too. You know, this movie is two hours and 12 really? minutes. You felt that? Uh, it was some parts where I was like, I, I kind of want to get to that next the next part. Just, just not, not like, greatly where, like, oh, man, I really don't want to see that scene again because it dragged, but just enough to where I was like, yeah, they could, they could pick it up just a little bit here. Other than that, really good movie. Definitely a classic for me. I will have to add this to my collection, either digitally, physically. Like, I, this movie has to be on. This, for me, um, is the best love movie I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, this movie. I like that take. This movie. Mm -hmm invokes it like this movie to me is, is a prime example of love like it's a prime example of why people want to fall in love like like seeing that level of love in in the span of this two hour movie is amazing uh i haven't seen that kind of love i know it's gonna sound crazy bringing this movie up in a movie since like the movie her right even though it's an ai and a man they express love so well in that movie and this movie got got to that level to me uh, as far as exhorting those feelings and you sitting on the screen and saying this is black love and if that's what black love is I cannot wait to have it myself I will have to give this movie uh, a 9.4 uh, this movie is an instant classic uh, Molina you I need to see you do a lot more movies and of course the actors they I need to see them a lot more as well. I need to see, I need to, everybody that was a part of this movie, I need more of you. And I hope, I pray, I pray that y'all continue to make black films. Like, like stay on that lane. Like, be that. Be the Spike Lee. Like, be, stay in that lane of making black films because y'all did such an amazing job. Y'all did such an amazing job. And Ryan Cooler can't do it all on his own. So, we need more. We got Tyler Perry. We do. We do have Tyler Perry. We need more black directors and i feel like you did amazing kudos to you that completes the review for queen and slim really good movie i cannot stress enough that this movie needs to be seen go out and support black movies oh my god black films what was that energy at with here oh harriet you're right. okay you're, you're right. right thank you go out and support good black films it's only because because look at this look at this when you go out when you go out and support everything guess what you get more of that not necessarily you need to tell these people where the quality is and what we like and you do that by supporting the things that are good so they can recognize hey we need to do more things like this and they continue to do them when you go and support everything then you get everything we don't want everything we want good black films we want black films that empower our people like this one that provide guides on either love or living, right? And this movie, like, like you said earlier, a lot, a lot of black movies teach us a lot. I think this movie had a lot to offer. Like, this is a movie I could, watch more than once. I could show my kids when they get to a certain age because it has some, has some scenes in there. It's rated R. It has some scenes in there that was kind of questionable. It's rated but R. there are lessons to be learned in this film, and movies help work through those lessons all the time. Black people, see this film. Let us know if you saw the film. All people. 
But especially black people. Especially black people. That's why I was kind of, I was kind of like right there. They was, they knew. I was locked in to, to them. I gave them the look. <laughs> Let us know if you see the film. How'd you like it? Please leave a comment. Let's start a discussion. As always, we want to hear from you. Is this the best movie of the year to you? I, I wouldn't be mad if somebody said that. This is the best movie. I'm like, hey, I like that answer. Um, as always, you know, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our reviewing content because we will continue to review movies and other content as well. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here.